So what is material science? You know, I often get asked this question whenever I meet someone new and tell them what it is that I do for a living and also what it is I study in college. And truth be told, I'm a little surprised that people don't know what material science is just because it's something that affects their everyday life. It's how we've transitioned from using stone tools to the industrial revolution to using iPhones. Hopefully after this video you guys will have a stronger understanding of what material science and engineering is and also why you should care. But before I begin, first I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Right now I am a material science PhD student and I wanted to have a creative outlet outside of research so that I could share some of the knowledge and experience that I gained um, from my time in graduate school with all of you. So things like how to write a research paper, how to give a presentation, or how to navigate through the chaotic world that is grad school. Hopefully those of you who are thinking about going to grad school are already in grad school, or those of you who are science and engineering enthusiasts will find some of this content useful. But back to the question at hand, what is material science? So material science is the study of, you guessed it, materials. And materials are nothing more than a collection of atoms that are arranged in all sorts of unique orientations. And these atomic orientations are what really dictate the material's overall properties. For instance, it explains why metals are so strong, are electrically conducting, and have this shiny metallic character to them. On the opposite end of the spectrum, it explains why materials like glass are transparent, are brittle, and also don't conduct electricity very well. And in between the two, you have materials like this, which are semiconductors, and they have properties that are basically a hybrid between the two. So basically, these structure property relationships are very important in understanding how a material works and also how you could potentially make the material and how it overall behaves. This leads to the four main pillars of material science, which include structure, properties, processing, and performance. And because these aspects affect so many different application areas, material science is really a combination of a lot of different fields, such as chemistry, physics, mechanical engineering, and even computer science. The distinction between material scientists and materials engineers are really that material scientists typically focus more on the structure property relationships of different materials and also how to synthesize them in a lab, whereas materials engineers usually take existing materials knowledge and being able to figure out what types of applications would be most appropriate. And also being able to understand a material in order to design a material with properties that you desire. So in a way, material scientists and engineers are like real life alchemists. They take a material and at the atomic level, manipulate it such that you get a material that does exactly what you want it to. And honestly, I think that's really, really cool. And being able to manipulate properties in such a way allows you a lot of freedom in figuring out what it is that you can use different materials for. So typically materials are broken up into several categories, including metals, polymers, ceramics, and composites, which are typically a combination of any of the materials I just listed. And material science really is a large collection of subdisciplines. So you have researchers that study different aspects of how materials are used. So those who study metallurgy typically learn about metals and their different alloys. There are those who study biomaterials, which can be used in uh, different healthcare applications. There are those who study nanomaterials, which are materials that are very, 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 very small. And there are those who study metamaterials, which have properties that don't typically exist in nature. Now, material science and engineering is basically present in every single application area that you can think of, from aerospace industry, semiconductor, communications, construction, manufacturing, and energy. So having a stronger understanding of what material science and engineering is will make you a lot more aware of the little intricacies of our world and also how we could potentially advance our technology. Well, hopefully after this video, you have a little bit of a stronger understanding of what material science and engineering is and why it's pretty cool. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And 
If you have any suggestions for future video content, or if you want to learn a little bit more about something, definitely email me at fullmetalsci at gmail.com, and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching, and I guess to sign off, um, grad school is hard, but keep calm and exiton. Hopefully you'll know what that means in a few weeks. Bye!